we have a hanging chandelier of mass M attached to the ceiling by two cables. Cable 1 has an angle theta 1 with the ceiling and cable 2 has an angle theta 2 with the ceiling. The chandelier of mass M is hanging from the two cables. We have to express the answer in a symbolic way in terms of mass M, angles theta 1 and theta 2, and the magnitude of acceleration g. So, the question is, find an expression for T1, the tension in cable 1, that does not depend on T2. In the left, we can see the chandelier hanging from the ceiling. We have T1, angle theta 1, and T2 that has an angle of theta 2 with the ceiling. In the right hand side, we have the free body diagram that has all the forces acting on the connection point of the cables and the chandelier. So we have that tension 1 is going up to the left, tension 2 is going up to the right, and mg, that's mass times gravity, is going downwards. Now I want you to pay close attention to angle theta 1. It has its alternate interior angle, and theta 2 also has its own alternate interior angle. Now I want to break the tension 1 into components. You can see that using the alternate interior angle of theta 1, I can say that the y component of T1 is T1 sine of theta 1, and the x component is negative T1 cosine of theta 1. Now I moved the free body diagram to the left, and in the right hand side I'm going to break into components the T2. So the y component of T2 is T2 sine of theta 2 and the x component of T2 is T2 cosine of theta 2. And you can see down that it's the vector notation, the x component and y component. Now we have the forces broken into components. So T1 and T2, they have the x component and the y component. And the force exerted by gravity is also broken into components. The x component is zero, and the y component is negative mg. Now I am going to do the summation of the forces in the x direction and it's going to be equal to zero because there is no acceleration because it's static. So t2 cosine of theta2 it's equal to t1 cosine of theta1. I continue working on the equation and I get that T2 is equal to T1 cosine of theta1 over cosine of theta2. So I got an expression for T2. The summation of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero because the object is static, it's not moving neither in the x direction or in the y direction. The forces that we have in the y direction are T1 sine of theta1 going up plus T2 sine of theta2 going up minus mg that's going completely down and that's equal to zero. So I continue to work in this equation and now I am going to plug in the tension 2, the expression I got for T2 into this other equation and solve for T1. You can see that I continue to solve for T1 and I got an expression for T1 that's the tension in the cable 1 that does not depend on T2. Okay, my friends, I hope this was helpful for you. Now, to do a brief summary of what we have to do in these problems, we have to analyze the picture, then do the free body di diagram, then we have to break our forces into components, and then we have to add the forces in the y direction, then add the forces in the x direction, and find the relation between those equations. Finally, we have to find the expression for tension 1 that does not depend on tension 2, and that's what we did. And this is the work done by hand on the whiteboard that has everything we just work in the, in the video. Okay, my friends, have a great day or night, and hope to see you in other video. Bye.